Hey guys, I'm gonna start building my computer today. Here's all the components. Um, we got the uh, X99 Pro with the 3.1 USB, uh, GeForce GTX 980 Ti hybrid, got an optical drive down there. I have the 5820K i7 processor, a couple extra fans, DDR4 RAM, got 16 gigabytes. Um, they have the 360 mil millimeter uh, radiator for the CPU. And then I have a 1000 watt power supply in the case, the Subsidian 750D, I believe, case. Uh, this brown box down here is the is a three gigabyte, uh, excuse me, three terabyte hard drive that I'm gonna stick into my old computer over there, if you look. So what I'm gonna steal from my old computer is the uh, solid state drive and the four terabyte HDD and replace it with the three terabyte HDD because I want all the new stuff or the better stuff in the new computer. So I'll check back in periodically through the build and you can see what uh, how everything's going. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm getting ready to put the, uh, the uh, CPU into the socket. Oops, I almost put it in the wrong way. Uh, here we go. Put this down. There we go. CPO's in. So I put the RAM in, and you know, as far as RAM goes, it's just plug and play. All right, so um, I've, I'm starting to work on the case now. Uh, it came with these two sled trays for hard drives in the in the front bottom. So I removed this one so I can make a make a spot for the uh, radiator to the GPU. Um, I'm going to plan on putting, putting it here or on the other side, obviously. And then the top is going to have the 300 millimeter uh, radiator. So I'll check back in a little bit. All right, so I've installed the uh, the radiator and the fans on top of the radiator, and I'm about to put the the cooler and the pump on top of the CPU. It comes with a I didn't know this. It comes pre-applied with thermal paste, so I'm just going to use the pre the pre-applied stuff and uh, screw it into the socket. All right, so I got the um, the water cooler hooked up to the uh, CPU, plugged in the pump, plugged in the, the fans, and gonna be moving on to, let's see, probably installing the video card next. I'm getting ready to open up the graphics card for the first time. Ooh. Sorry for the shaky video, I can't really do this with the one hand box is kind of hard to open with one hand. Come on. Come on. Alright, I'm gonna put the hold on. Put the phone right on the box, hold on. There we go. It had like a suction cup on the uh, on the box. So these are all the uh, manuals probably a quick start guide poster or something. I don't know what that is. I'll take a look at it in a minute. So we have the uh, the box EVGA, uh, some some ties, uh, six pin cables, and there's the graphics card and the radiator. Obviously, how do I get this out? Probably probably all comes out too. Yep. Cool. So I'll be installing this next. Um, see you guys in a little bit. Um, so I was looking at this bag and it reminded me that it says do not enter without proper electrostatic safety equipment. So I am using a grounded uh, mat right here. I don't know if you can see this that the case is sitting on. Um, it's plugged into a clip that's clipped to this power supply. I'm clipped into the power supply too. I don't know if you can hear. You can see it. 
Uh, power supply is not powered on. Please be careful if you do this. But it is plugged in and grounded, so. Um, yeah, all right, so time to install the graphics card. So I just finished taking all the uh, plastics off the graphics card. And I was looking at the fan, and I noticed the fan is in a push configuration with the radiator. So what they want me to do with this configuration is where this gray fan is, they want me to push it out the top back through that radiator, but I don't really want to get it all too busy with pipes in there. So what I'm going to do is actually have it the radiator sit right here and have the fan pull air in through the bottom of the case. So what I have to do now is take this fan off this this radiator and put it on the on the bottom so that the air blows in this direction through the bottom of the case up through the uh, through the fan because I want I want cool air from obviously I want cool air in the case going from the bottom uh, bottom right like over here and going up and out through this way. All right, so I just took the fan off and I realized that um, if I put this fan face down on the bottom, there's no way to get access into the uh, the top part of the bracket and the bottom part of the bracket because uh, it's just, I don't know, for some reason EVGA made the fan like a cylindrical. So I can't put it on the bottom and have it as a push. So I'm just gonna mount it. I mean, it's no big deal. I'm just gonna mount it as a um, pull on top. So I'm gonna mount it like that. And then this, this unit will sit on the bottom of the case. I've put the video card in, screwed it in, put the power supply in, screwed that in. Starting to do some of the wiring. Um, installed the optical drive in the front here. And I've kept the radiator for the video card aside because um, it gets a little bit, it's a little bit tight in here with the cords. I have to get all the cords plugged in and organized first. So next, my next step is to do the hard drives, cables, maybe tidy up the cables a little bit, get a little cable organization going. So, all right, see you guys in a little bit. Um, so I got most everything installed. Um, radiator, uh, graphics card, power supply, radiator for the GPU. I moved the sled, the hard drive sled, I moved it from the bottom where the radiator used to be and I moved it up under the uh, optical drive sled, I guess. Um, just because I thought that the wires going into the power supply were going to be too tight with the back end of the um, radiator kind of sticking out. It was a little too tight as is. So I did it this way. Um, what I have left is to plug in, organize the wires in the back, plug them into the power supply, and um, put in a couple of the... Uh, front case wires, plug those in too. All right, I finished up the wiring. Um, looks pretty good from the front. <laughs> the back is kind of a hot mess, but I don't really care too much about the back. I need to get a working functional computer done soon, so. Um, here's the back side. Like I said, it's a hot mess. Um, you can see the solid, they have a, oh, I gotta put the other solid state drive. Uh, tray in here. There's four different sleds. I have one in here. Um, yeah. So I'll close her up, boot her up, see how it goes, and I'll let you guys, let you guys uh, see. So this is what it looks like with the case on. I'll power it up in a minute. Alright, so this is a com completed computer, it's in its place, it's all turned on, it's plugged in. Um, I don't have the LED lights on the inside of the case, because that's just a personal option. So on the inside it's dark, but uh, that's the way I want it, I don't want to be seeing it at night time, so. Really happy with it, runs really well. Running, uh, currently running uh, Windows 7 on it, and everything's perfect. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.